Do 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 do. It's all crooked. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. I don't remember Yee. the rest. <laughs> Flawless victory. <laughs> Welcome to Cantrell Horses Club. I yeah. have no idea how that happened. I'm sorry. Welcome <laughs> everyone <laughs> to Can't Draw Horses Club. I'm Corey, and joining me is Angel, Hello. and we have Beach on tech. As you, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Can everyone hear Beach? By the way. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Oh, they. Well, I think they said hi. You think they said hi? Yep. yep. All right. Mm, yeah. Look, I have I have legs and feet and everything. I exist. You show feet for free. I have shoes on. We have some imaginative people in the chat. <laughs> uh, so, yes, welcome to Cantra Horses Club, What a Great Run, brought to you by you, kind support of our Patreon, patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun, as well as here on Twitch and through store.loadingreadyrun.com and on YouTube and just, just for being here with us today <laughs> in, this, in this time. We're going to be doing some stuff today. Uh, Angel's prepared a, a presentation sure to explain did. it. There it is. There it is. All right. Today on Cantrell Horses Club, you can see my face when I'm doing the presentation, which is not normally the case. We're going to do some lithography. Next slide, Beach. Lithography uh, comes from the Greek for um, lithos, which means stone, and grapho, which means right. Is grapho one of the muses? I don't know, mm. probably. All right, um, so the, this is a planographic printing technique, which means the surface that we're going to be printing from is going to be entirely flat, as opposed to relief, like for woodblock printing or stamping, where the surface is bumpy. Bumpy. All right, next slide. The, this technique is based on the fact that oil and water do not mix. And if the animations were working, this it would do a little spiral. swirly it thing. It was great. Made me laugh. It was great. Oh. Too bad. All right, next slide. <laughs> All right, so we are going to be making part of our surface hydrophilic and part of our surface hydrophobic. The hydrophilic loves the water, and the hydrophobic says, no, get away from me. I hate you. Next slide. All right, uh, so first we're going to need to prepare a plate. Uh, this could be limestone, zinc, uh, polyester, or aluminum. Today we're going to be using aluminum. Would you eat on a polyester plate? Probably. Okay. Uh, we, we wear them, so we wear polyester. You could probably eat off of it. All right, number two uh, is uh, we need to draw, and uh, we have to draw backwards because when you put the paper down onto the print, um, it will end up reversed on the paper. Uh, we're going to be using oil-based substances. Uh, there's special lithographic crowns. We're going to be using Sharpies. Um, or you can use this cool ink called Koosh or something like that. It's called Koosh or something? Touche. Touche. That's Touche. what it is. <laughs> it's called Touche ink. I just we're going to be rubbing a Koosh ball all up in here. <laughs> all right, next slide. Well, there's a thing missing from oh, here. No. Oh, no. That's we're okay. Missing a chem oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> All the, we were missing a chemical. All right. So the, the third step is to etch the aluminum. Um, you can use nitric acid or hydrochloric acid. Today, we're going to be using phosphoric acid in the form of Coca-Cola. Next slide. All right. Number four is very boring. We have to clean it. Uh, we have to remove all of the... Uh, oil that we've drawn with and uh, the acid that we've put on there uh, to start with a clean slate before the next phase, which is ink. Um, not this kind of ink. We're all getting tattoos, people. <laughs> it's time. Uh, we're going to be using this cool brayer here. There we go. Oh, yep. uh, rubbing the ink out. We have two different kinds of ink. We have um, some uh, red ink and black ink, and I'm sure we those can are the make kinds. very cursed things with those colors. Um, next slide is the print. So we're going to take the paper and slap it down on top of the ink and press it very hard and hopefully come out with a picture and not a big blob. 
And that is all. These are my sources. Thank you, Beach. Thank you. <laughs> oh, nap time. <laughs> it's not nap time. All right, so first we have to prepare our plates. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, which means we're going to clean them with some water, and the water will also help the aluminum stick and prevent the air bubbles. Aluminum air bubbles. Okay. No. No. No bubbles. You also want to try to avoid getting any uh, finger oil yeah. on it. So this is just water to clean the this surface? This is just water. It cleans it, and then the aluminum will stick to it and prevent bubbles. Because we want it to be flat. Yes, uh, and we have to not touch the aluminum with our fingers where we're going to be So doing keep your fingers reaction. off the middle. Uh, how do you open this? Maybe we it should have like opened this strip. ahead of time. I can open it. There you go. It's Canadian boxes. You still, have to, you still have to cut the aluminum foil for me. <laughs> Thanks. Push a little. Now, our, the the tutorials I saw used the um, the matte side up. And, matte but side. you saw... I saw some people saying different. you want shiny side up, and I don't know. I'm not going to... I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to. Which one are you going to do? I'm going to do math side up. Okay. I am also going to do math side up. Okay, so we're just going to get this part off that has the sticker. Throw that away. We don't want the sticker. Throw stickers, no stickers away. Stickers are not allowed. All right. Can I take it? No, the, that's where the sticker is stuck. Oh, I'm sure that's good ASMR, isn't it? That's kind of nice, actually. Maybe I have weird tastes. Yep. Crinkle emotes in chat if you have them. That's a thing? I don't know. That's why I said if. Okay. All right. Just See give how me the, the water's making it kind of stick already? Just give me the scissors. You're going to do your I'll, own foil? I'll do my own foil. Okay. I'm gonna use the brayer to just get this out. This way. Thank, thanks to the um, studio lighting, the uh, the aluminum sheets just look like bright white. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> to the camera. I mean, we could turn the overheads off. Oh, that's a good point. Chop, chop. Oh, oh, raggedy. Great. Yeah, this is aluminum from the dollar store, so it's not very thick. Whoops, I used my hands. I've That's... already defeated myself. You put your hands on Just it? Just directly. Just You're gonna start over. Just... You gotta start over. All right. <laughs> I'll find that aluminum later. Somebody will find it later. Maybe it won't be me. So the water helps the aluminum stick to the glass, and because we're assuming the glass is uh, the flattest that we can, like it's the flattest surface we can possibly get. Yeah. Therefore, then when you tape all the other aluminum around it, it's um, it's still that's the top piece is still going to be as flat as it possibly can. Yeah. Yeah. When you have, um, when you're doing this with, you know, real art supplies and not stuff from the dollar store, you have like a, a stone slab. You don't yeah. have to do this part. Right. Oh, you'll probably appreciate this, Angel. Um, the other day, uh, I think it was a Alex uh, posted a thing to one of the many places I go for memes, and um, it was a guy who had access to a. Um, it was a. It was a uh, stone. It was a stone slab. It was a big, big, heavy, large stone thing big, that big, he says was, was worth about twelve grand because it was a reference surface. Mm. And he was like, "Hey, so the people who use this, I work for them or whatever, and they said so they don't need it anymore, so they're getting rid of it. Uh, I'm thinking about uh, grinding it out to make it into a bird bath. What would I use to do that?" 
Yeah, what was the answer? Uh, everyone screamed as loud as they could when they heard that he was going to destroy uh, an, ex an, ex an incredibly flat surface of some size. So it was, it was quite good. My foil has ripped, but I think that'll still be okay. Yeah. I've got a couple corners coming through. I still have successfully not touched the front, I think. So where did you get these pieces of glass? Um, these are from picture frames. Yeah. From the dollar store. For example, I just jammed this out and then Oops. threw them away. Can I have the picture frame when you're done? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> We can probably even return the glass to you unscathed. Double awesome. Okay. So, I have to I have to put our business license up somehow, and I'm going to use that. All right. All right. My my plate I think is as prepared as that's going to get. How's yours? It's beautiful. Should I just start drawing? Or yep. Do I want yep. To wait you for should. You? you should not see what I'm doing here. Okay. I have Look my away. reference off to the side. It's a secret, though, so secret. No reference. one. I mean, people might recognize it eventually, but um, I'm just gonna start drawing some stuff with this China marker. <laughs> <laughs> it's what it says. It does say China marker. Ah, <sighs> we're know gonna why. get so canceled. <laughs> I don't know why it says. But only that. in one country. Only in China. All right, and are you gonna draw on paper first, or are you gonna no, just draw directly on No, I'm just gonna draw directly there? on it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm also using a reference um, based on Horse Club from last week, I believe. Uh, Iris of Ether was kind enough to develop a long Shrek and posted it to Instagram. So I'm going to try to make a wanted poster for, for Long Shrek. This is making a so cool noise. I have to use this reference. <clears throat> if you're, uh, just a reminder, if your phone does turn off, uh, let me know when you're going to turn it back on so I can switch to the wide and we don't show the entire audience your passcode. My what? Phone, oh, this is an iPad. Oh. It doesn't have passcode. This, is, this has passcode, but I don't need to use it because I have a face. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> I think we're good. But thank you for is your that, concern. Is that, that OPSEC talk we had the other day? Yeah. Is really sinking in with me. <laughs> is any of this showing up on camera? Uh, not really. Not really. really. Uh, Mine if, will. I'll see if I can get closer. A little bit. I'll, so the lines are going to get darker. I'm just sort of doing a light sketch right now. Ooh, good squeaks. Well, you're using the Sharpie, so yours is easier to see right away. Right away. Everyone can just really bask in it. Does anyone in chat guess what it is yet? Mine? Either Everyone one. knows what mine is. Well, yours, yeah. You, because you told them. Yeah. Told but I said mine was a secret. It's toe to, toe to tip. This is Long Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anything cursed that happens today is not my fault. It is all on you. Would a drawing glove help in not transferring hand oils? Possibly. Possibly. We didn't think that far ahead. I left my drawing glove at home. I don't own a drawing glove. I just get messy. Whoa. Have, have some welding gloves. <laughs> I think that would impede my ability to draw. Now I've already made a mistake. I forgot to flip this photo. So it's gonna be backwards. Shrek. But that's okay, there's no words in it, so it should still be fine. Did you flip yours in your head, Corey? I'm working on it <laughs> right now. <laughs> I think Long Shrek is symmetrical, though. But I have to write because it's a wanted poster. Oh, yeah. 
My hand is very shaky. Are you nervous? No. <laughs> I think that's how that letter works. Maybe I'm just afraid of Long Shrek. Uh, you should be. He's wanted for a reason. Wait. I have to flip the dollar sign. Yeah. <laughs> Backwards S. Backwards cool S. Okay. You okay. just drew on the tablecloth. Yeah, we I are did. throwing it away, so it's we probably are. fine. It, the Sharpie almost went through the tablecloth. So. It is not a very sturdy tablecloth. We have lots of cleaning supplies, Beach. Don't worry. I'm glad to hear it. You're going to use that incredibly corrosive Coca-Cola, though, is my understanding. That's yeah. what the tub's for. Yeah, oh, we're going to put it in this tub. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Uh... still can't see anything of mine on camera. It's okay. It will be beautiful when it's done. Don't worry, chat. Oh, <laughs> that was a great noise. Yeah. <laughs> now just push harder and it'll make darker marks and better noises. I wonder what that's going to say when it's turned backwards. We'll all find out together. <laughs> See, try again. They get it. I'm sorry. I haven't seen it. <laughs> Face of a criminal. <laughs> it's the face of a wanted man. Well, now you can start to see stuff. Yep. I didn't really account for this part. <laughs> I had no idea it would make those noises. <laughs> I, for one. <laughs> Maybe we need, I don't know, Grant, do you want a Sharpie? No, I, we can't change in the middle. We can't change in the middle. I'm going to mix media then. Yeah, what, what happens? Nothing. It's just different lines. Oh, okay. Different lines and textures. Uh, so if I wanted to, like, age up this paper... Ooh. I think it looks like it's got torn edges and stuff. There. We and could do some um, coffee or tea staining of the paper afterwards. Afterwards, yeah. I could just lick it. I could coke stain it. You're going to lick it? <laughs> that was just... <laughs> that was, it was in the list. <laughs> <laughs> How else do you age things? <laughs> I can't just throw it in the sea and let it bash against the cliffs like a chair. They introduce those body enzymes. That's exactly. more reasonable than licking it. No, be just right about the enzymes. The enzymes do stuff to the paper. <laughs> <laughs> it, it breaks down the starches. It's too bad that they didn't get me staring at you in disbelief on camera. Oh no, there's a wide shot. Oh, there is? Okay. <laughs> Up in the corner, so yeah. We don't want to miss any part of this. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to miss that. <laughs> the, the, looks of, the looks of incredu incredulity that I give Corey. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Is that making a remix? <laughs> no, I think I touched the foil. Whoa. Let's get start some, over. Let's get some bits in chat for the squeaking. <laughs> the 
people like this noise? Yeah, they're counting the number of squeaks. So they're going to give mm -hmm. bits later. Yeah. Oh, yep. Then I will make as many squeaks as I can. <laughs> yep, they're adding it to the quote database. <laughs> everything's, everything's happening. So, oh, yeah, we can sample this for, for later music. <laughs> it's the sound of art. There we go. Thank you, Iris of Ether. <laughs> Been about a hundred squeaks so far, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A yeah. hundred. Oh, I better get to work. <laughs> Skirt. You can move on to the next stage. The, the bath. That's the next stage, right? I bathe it. I can you bring up the, the slideshow, didn't you? Yeah, I'll bring up the slideshow again. The slideshow know. didn't have instructions. <laughs> it had the order of things. Back, go back, yeah, forward. Oiled water, one plate. Okay, I have a plate. Two draw, backwards. Three etch. Dang! All right. There you go. All right, I'm doing it. All right. So, uh. Ooh, yeah. <clears throat> I think you want it to be flat. Nice hiss. You think I should drown it? I think it should be flat. I didn't leave little drainage holes in the bottom of my foil. I mean, cause mine just has holes because it broke. <laughs> should I move this forward, Beach? Uh, yeah, if we're, if we're going to put it on the overhead, the wide is that big. Yeah, put it on your spot. Yep. There you go. Here we go. Got to make sure I get all of the area I drew on. Hey, so in the part where it said etch and it said chlorine minus, should we be worried about that at all? Because I don't think there's, like, there's not going to be chlorine coming off of this. No. no, 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 no. So that was, there's different kinds of acid you can use to etch. You can yeah. use nitric acid, you can use hydrochloric acid, but we're using a phosphoric acid. Right. Which we drink. Yes. Yeah. Good. So... People have variable times. They recommend, I think, five seconds is enough. Wow. Yeah, because you're, you're actually treating all of the areas you didn't draw on. What you're drawing on is being protected from the acid. Yeah, and now I just I need to clean it off. Come hither. Ooh. Ooh, you're a wet boy. <laughs> Very moisty on the back. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking we should have gotten, like, wet naps or something to wipe off our hands, but, uh... Too late now. We have a sink. I have wet naps. Wait, no. Yes, Beach. but <laughs> Beach. The I have antibacterial wet naps. I think you can use them because your skin isn't like mine. Let me go get them. <laughs> skin isn't like mine. No, one's on the board. no one has skin like you, Beach. Beach is an anomaly. Yeah. Oh yeah. Medical mystery. Oh, there's no way to. Okay. Did you say hypoallergenic and gentle on skin? Is, is it a lie? Uh, well, I mean. I don't know if they have lie you, in them. You want to no. show us what happens when you use them? Is that what you're saying? Not at all. I don't <laughs> anywhere near me. <laughs> okay, we will keep them isolated. Wet naps far away from Beach. What's my next step, Beach? Right, back to clean. the water. Clean. That's the vegetable oil. Yeah. So you're going to clean off the Coke and the Sharpie, and you should be back to what looks like a blank slate. Yeah. But there'll, there'll be like a, a lighter impression of what, where I drew. All right. More skooky. More skooky. Cho 
of the lug. Just straight up canola oil? Yeah. Nice. We'll see if it works. It doesn't look like it's working at doesn't all. It doesn't look like it's working at all. <laughs> Beach, can you buy us oil? <laughs> uh, uh. I think it's too late for that. I mean, I'm of age, so I can, but I don't think I should be bootlegging for you two. Oh, man. But we need this. Dad's no fun. <laughs> oh, oh, that just unlocked a weird thing. <laughs> I can see if we have other oils in the moon base. Yeah. All right. Be right back. I don't know that it's a problem with the, with the oil. I think that maybe Sharpie just doesn't come off like the we'll see. oil crown. Is the oil crown coming off? Because you did use some. Yes. Okay. So I think it just doesn't get the Sharpie. Maybe I need more oil. Maybe acetone? Guessing that maybe ruins the I whole effect. I feel like that, that adding more chemicals may be a bad idea. <laughs> Let's just do chemistry. <laughs> Any chemists in chat? Tell us what yeah, kind of. Tell us what's going to happen if we mix, mix Coke and acetone <laughs> with Sharpie. They say alcohol will pull it. And you oh, have... we do have um, mineral spirits. Yeah. You can try that. That will probably not kill us. Because the whole point is just to get the black off the out of the aluminum yeah yeah because it now now that's been made permeable uh permeable it's it's hydrophobic oh. right well so we've made it, it the aluminum starts as hydrophobic and the acid makes it hydrophilic but only the parts that we're not drawn on I will try mm, oil hands. <laughs> Must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me bring the wet ones over there. Have you tried just straight up canola oil instead of lotion, Beast? I, I'm not even on lotion anymore, no. I'm not even on lotion. No. I've, I've evolved Trans to a plane beyond lotion. Transcended the lotion. Can anybody tell what my drawing is yet? Is it Snoopy? Old Snoopy. <laughs> it is a dog. Yeah. It is not it's a Snoopy dog, though. I like I liked traditional Snoopy. He looks so different. <laughs> Interesting. Definitely cuts through the oil. Yeah, I know you're cleaning the oil off. Yeah, I'm cleaning the oil off. Is this a Paw Patrol? Are you doing a Paw Patrol? Nope. It is not a cartoon. All right, well, I'll still try it, I think. Oh, the ox saw the reference. Oh. Either way, I'll have this beautiful piece of aluminum foil. With oh, random trivia, got it. <sighs> Don't tell Matt, though. As long as he's not watching. I sometimes assume he not. Watches. He was editing. Yeah, well, sometimes he does both. Well, <clears throat> then I guess it's not going to be a surprise. Maybe, maybe you should uh, tease chat less. Is that what you're supposed to do when you're a streamer? Teach chat? Yeah, you apes. <laughs> I'm, ch I'm channeling my inner Adam. What's the name of a magic card? Any magic creature. card? Creature. A creature. Noxious Gear Hulk. You Noxious Gear Hulks. <laughs> Picked a good one for that, too. Yeah. yeah. 
one of my favorites. She could have called you all Sarah Angels. I say I can't pick one with my name in it. Mm. <laughs> because you're here and you're not there. Yeah, I'm not weird. in chat right now. No, definitely not. Hands are sticky, oily, and <laughs> do we have Coke and canola oil and water? And, that and sounds like a fun acetone. night. And that's not acetone. Mineral spirits. Mineral spirits. Yeah. Speak of the devil. Oh, did Adam just write us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, you noxious girl. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the raid, Adam. We didn't say anything bad about you. No. <laughs> Not nothing. Nope. We're doing kitchen lithography, which in this case involves etching tin foil with Coke. <laughs> Coca Cola, not any cocaine. kind of cola. Is Pepsi okay? <laughs> we. <laughs> <laughs> Technically. Technically. Technically, it has the ingredients. Mm. Uh -huh. Like the, the phosphoric acid and I think the gum arabic. We could have gotten Pepsi. We could have gotten Pepsi. But we went to a different store we specifically to get Coke. They didn't have Coke at the dollar store. Mm. That sounds like some sort of, it's a, that's either a country song. Or <laughs> they like, didn't have Coke at the Dollarama. Or it's like a Taylor Swift song. I could have bought also generic cola. Oh but I wanted to drink Coke. Don't drink the Coke that we used for the bath. That's this There's one. It's a separate bottle. Separate. This one was in the fridge. Yeah, yeah. I know. I'm, I'm telling that to Chad. Oh, Chad, don't drink these. <laughs> don't, don't etch and then drink the etched <laughs> tin foil. Yes. Throw it away. <laughs> Throw it away, Chad. Does Canada Coca-Cola have just sugar in it? Do you want to answer that one, Beach? I think not anymore. It isn't yeah, like just straight cane sugar right anyway. There. It is a glucose a fructose. Glucose. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't specify. I don't think so. Yeah, but we have we we love our sugar industry here to the point where uh, the sugar industry went on strike a while ago and sugar production ground to a halt basically for all of Canada. So I have a feeling that whatever is in there is based on the stuff that we generate in Canada. Yes. Yeah. I've heard that's beet sugar. It's yes. beet sugar. Which is similar to beet sugar, <laughs> but not. But just as sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and Blip's correct. You can buy Mexican Coke in Canada, which is I told to you say. you can. I asked about that, and Corey's like, no, yes. we have Canadian Coke. We do, though. <laughs> it's, it tastes the same. <laughs> yeah, and Angel doesn't drink it, ah. so she doesn't even care. <laughs> she just wanted the Mexican Coke in the tiny glass bottles. I just wanted the bottles because they're cute. <laughs> no, we have, we have... We have Canadian Coke in tiny glass bottles. Yeah, we have Quebec maple sugar Coke. We have... Maple Coke? And we have... British Columbia Raspberry Coke, like we have those things up here. You oh. could have those instead. And they come in small bottles. <sighs> there, were, there were limited editions that they did about a year ago or two years ago or during the pandemic. And yeah, they lasted a while. Like I've, I've drank Coke before. Oh, like, have you? Is that like a bragging thing? Or? <laughs> I, think, no. I think it is. That's why I... no. <laughs> is she like flexing on us? I think no. so. <laughs> oh, 
room. Actually, yes, yes. I've had Coke before. <laughs> and it's the same everywhere. No. <laughs> That's what makes it so great is a rich man and a poor man, etc. <laughs> when I was a lad. <laughs> I'm older than you. And back in my day. Mm. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we had Coke. <laughs> Classic Coke. Ah, yeah. And Coke Chew. Hell yes. I remember Coke Chew. They let you have two Cokes? <laughs> no, there were three. Uh. Angel, I'm pretty sure you and I are the same age. Um, I am... 1979. Oh, okay. No, I'm 82. You're older than me. Yeah, okay. A little bit. Oh, and our Pepsi was clear? Hell yeah. Oh, clear Pepsi. Mm, crystal yeah. Pepsi. One of my friends in college did the uh, baking soda and uh, crystal Pepsi in the toilet thing. To clean it? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> you filled the top tank with Pepsi, and you filled the bowl with baking soda. Oh my God. And then you flushed, and it made blue foam. <laughs> And it didn't, it took way more than one flush. <laughs> oh <God>. What? <laughs> did it leave the toilet? Like, did it overflow? I think so. Okay. Oh, it had I wasn't to there. Okay. Had to but... have overflowed. Yeah, this is the kind of thing, it's good that we didn't have cell phones like that, like, like camera phones back in the day. Yeah, we just had the flip phones. Yeah. Back in our day, the Pepsi left the toilet. Thanks, White Caster. <laughs> Ooh, what if elephant toothpaste using the toilet? Ooh, just like a, a tall column. What is elephant toothpaste? It's a science experiment, usually used for demonstration purposes, where they'll get like a long, a long tube and you mix the chemicals and it makes this foam that expands really quickly. And so it shoots out the tube, it kind of extrudes and... Why blows. is it called elephant toothpaste? Because it's large. And it looks like it's, it looks like a, because when it comes like out, it kind of stays semi-solid as it come out like a toothpaste would. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can just mix two liquids together and get toothpaste, it's great. <laughs> there it is. Thank you, Random Trivia, for the GIF. I see. It's like toothpaste. My toothpaste doesn't look like that. You can color it differently. <laughs> I use Sensodyne. It doesn't look like that. I do too. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> you know why? Because we all drank too much Coke. <laughs> Except Angel, who's never had Coke before in her life. Never. <laughs> never once. No, my dad used to drink it a lot. Um, toothpaste? <laughs> yeah. It was a problem. I almost choked to death on toothpaste once as a oh, kid. I was oh no. like five, and I was eating toothpaste. And <laughs> what I, flavor was it? Was it bubblegum? I think it was. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, it was like a kid's toothpaste. And then my mom picked me up by the ankle and dangled me over the bathtub and thwacked me in the back until the toothpaste came out. <laughs> Oh, because you were choking. I was choking okay. to death on toothpaste. Sorry. That I, I was eating. I thought that you were eating the toothpaste. She came in and grabbed you by the ankles, which made you start choking. No. Okay. No. no she panicked and just hoisted me up. I had... Um, I'm glad you lived. Strawberry banana toothpaste. It was like oh, this oh, herbal oh, catalog that my grandma had. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gonna be that fake banana. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I cannot. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was like if you took some of the the runts that are those flavors or the runts. Bana runt, runt I actually like the banana runts. Yeah, you take the banana runt and an apple runt, and you smush them into a paste, and then brush your teeth with that. That's what it tasted like. Did you ever have cinnamon toothpaste? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh. Not good. I mean, for, for an amount of time, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Random trivia. Why do I eat dinner during horse club? Yeah, that's a mistake. That's probably because you live in a different time zone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I couldn't have eaten dinner before. Although, yesterday I ate dinner, so technically that was before horse club. Mm. But not during. I could, I could not possibly eat dinner during horse club. Do you think that the it does it reset? Wait, does it? So if you had dinner Wait, before... Wait, you, you think there's a cool down on meals? I Well, if you have breakfast, like if you eat dinner, right, and then you right. have breakfast, then the last meal you ate was breakfast and you didn't therefore eat dinner before horse, horse club, you would have had breakfast. Right. But if you skip breakfast, then you would have had dinner before. I think it just resets um, when you sleep. So, but I, I didn't eat breakfast, so... You had coffee. French breakfast. <laughs> you have your cigarette later. Yep. Are you going to work on your project at all? He's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the ink. Do you want the red ink or the black ink? Let's get the black ink out here. All right. It's a good... It's a... It's good that it's, you're going for that, because if you picked red, everyone would assume it was a red ogre. Right? Yeah. All right. So do I need any, like, thinning anything? I just squish I this out. I squish and it out and see what sort of consistency it is. <sighs> okay. I'm going to add a little tab <laughs> of tape the bottom of this freaking thing <laughs> so you can pick it up so i can pick it up and move <laughs> it come here stop sticking to me that's very smart oh my god i did think about doing that yesterday i was just like oh because you can't touch the things so you just do the stuff yeah i don't think it's as important for the ink because ink is made of oil so ink is made more of oil. oil probably won't do anything bad uh, do we need to moisten your paper? Um, you moisten this. So you put water on this with the spray bottle that we have. Okay. And that will be attracted to the hydrophilic areas and expelled from the hydrophobic areas, which will make it so that when you put the oil-based ink on top of it, it should only stick to the areas where the water is not. Ooh, squidgy. You want the knife? Is that your brayer? It's a brayer I brought because Corey was like, we don't need a brayer. <laughs> I what were you going to use? I figured it wasn't something you could get at the You can store. use like a folded over piece of cardboard <laughs> or like a credit card or something. Oh, like when you're doing coke. Yeah. Except Angel who's never done coke before. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were gonna spray me. <laughs> so I'm supposed to keep that damp at all times as I'm working, and I'm gonna be oh, yeah, going back and forth and cleaning. I do need paper. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Look, we can can nice I get the other. Baron as well? The Baron. Thank you. That you wanted to use a wooden spoon for instead. Yes, because it's kitchen lithography. <laughs> We were at the art store and they had all the things. Like wooden spoons? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you could have bought a thick. wooden spoon when we were at the dollar store. Much thicker than I thought. We we did just get a wooden spoon in mealtime. Uh, that's at my house. Ian's uh, oiled it and yes. is pretty happy with it. All right, here's Is that a mealtime spoiler? Yeah. It is, yeah. Ooh. I do this a lot. <laughs> Squidgy, squidgy, squidgy. Oh, it's definitely working. Ooh, yeah. So the ink is not sticking to the parts that were etched. Yeah. We didn't do any practices, so there was a chance that this was just not going to work at all. Yeah. 
Do you want the Q-tips? No. Okay. I told you we didn't need the Q-tips. <laughs> what would the Q-tips be for? You can spot clean. Oh. Because, like, see, I have these delicate lines. Right. And if I had a bunch of ink mung, because it smears around. Okay. So the idea is that you might have to do multiple passes with the ink. Um, you do like two or three rolls and wipe it down between, and then paper. Paper, and then you smush the paper onto it. I'm getting pretty close to done, I think, with my drawing. Are you going to do a whole second drawing, Corey? Yep. Do you know what your next subject is going to be? I'm going to try this right now. Um, no, I guess I'll have to take suggestions from chat. Oh, that's the worst idea. guess I'll have to. And it's just using like the bowl side of a wooden spoon to rub? Yeah. Okay. Sweet. But if you had like a particularly thick glass coaster or something, I guess that could probably work too. Yep. Nice. Well, we have the dual sounds. All right, reveal. Holy hell. It worked. That's it awesome. Worked. That's how they used to print things in the olden days. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they still use this technique. It's just done by machines instead of people. Mm. Like, you know those pasta makers? Those rollers? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you can, you can make your own little press out of those. Yeah. Oh, cool. Like, magic cards are printed with lithography. Oh, cool. We are not advocating counterfeiting magic cards. I didn't say that. Nope. Because <laughs> if you want, you can do a second pass of this. Yep. And. Oh, we could do the red. Yeah, you could do another plate with red accents and then put it on the same paper. And then you'll have two colors instead of just one. All right, so supposedly the best print results happen on like the second or third, like the first ones. Kind of blurry. It's supposed to be garbage. <laughs> oh, like pancakes. Yeah, I was yeah, thinking yeah, the yeah. same thing. The griddle's never the right temperature when you start. Now the Sharpie's coming off. <laughs> you needed the oil-based paint to erase the Sharpies. Yeah, it turns out. <laughs> I'm going to step away for a second. Okay. All right. Everybody missed the hay if Beach is gone. <laughs> Angel. <laughs> When I said step away, I literally disconnected my headphones as I finished that. So if you had anything to say about me, I missed it completely. Good. Good. She was just inciting rebellion. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I don't know what to tell you. I'm a rebel. You know me. You need your cool sunglasses for that. Oh, right. Rebel without a cause. Now I'm a rebel. No, I can't see. <laughs> I'm done but you're a rebel. rebel. <laughs> it's so hard to draw with sunglasses on. I wear my sunglasses indoors so I can't, so I can't draw. <laughs> to dampen the paper this time as an experiment. 
What's that going to do? Make the ink bond better. There you go. Yeah. All right. Such thick paper. I know. Isn't it nice? So cool. We're using Strathmore printmaking paper because you need a paper that won't fall apart when it gets wet. Thunder. It's a hell of a slogan. I'm guessing it has lots of like cotton or linen or something in it. Uh, does it say? Does Acid it say? free. Okay. Uh, is it also coke free? Except Corey, who's never tried Made acid. From domestic and imported materials. Does not divulge Whoops. what materials those might be. Mm. This is what happens when you don't wet your wets properly. Oh. Uh, you, I think you're going to need this to clean that off. Yeah, I probably do. <sighs> da, da. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glad I bought so much paper towel. Yeah. Did you guys want aprons? What? Did no. you want aprons? No. Okay. Aprons? Yeah. You know, like smocks? No. 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 Smock, smock, smock. No, we don't. Smock. I'm here to get messy. We're here to get messy beach. Would you like to get messy beach? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. That's why he's in a different room, separated by a window and a door. It's so, so much work he's getting out of clean. The splash zone. You know that, that bit in uh, Independence Day? Where they've got like the alien autopsy through the glass. Oh yeah. Will yeah. Smith punches him? Yeah. yeah. Smock, smock, smock. Smock, 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 smock. Ooh, everywhere. Danger, solvent, odorless. <laughs> hey, so something bugs me. What? Because um, I, I know I have to be right about this, but maybe I'm not. You have to be right? Well, we'll see. Um, I think we were watching the Indiana Jones movie. Right. And at some point, they were in a place ancient right. place okay and is this he, the dial of destiny or whatever yes i don't know if i've seen that I, have i seen that i hope it's not i'm trying not to spoil anything for people okay thank you but they're in an ancient place and he takes a sniff and he says gas right right depends on the gas so that's the thing i'm like if it's if it's sulfurous you can right but like methane is colorless and odorless yeah and if it's just methane if there wasn't like sulfur that's coming up with it, you wouldn't be able to smell it. You'd nope. probably just suffocate. You'd probably just die. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Where, where I grew up, we um, uh, that was a thing that they taught uh, grade school kids. H two S two sour gas. Uh, no, um, medicine hat. They uh, have massive deposits of uh, natural gas. Oh, mm. and so, so just don't go in the earth. Yeah, essentially. And don't go underground. The entire- uh, uh, Never go in caves. Medicine Hat generated their own power off of their methane reserves. Mm. So they had a powerhouse down by the river that, um, that you know, burned methane to make electricity. And made the, it meant that electricity in town was incredibly cheap. And because of that, they're like, well, we have to tell all the kids that, uh, look at what an amazing place you live in and let's talk about some things to do with that. All right, I'm ready to dunk the dog. <laughs> dunk dunk that the dog. dog. Dunk that dog. How long did you soak it for? I counted to 30. Oh, they put me in the gif of the sunglasses. <laughs> 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 Good. Good work, random trivia. Okay. All right. Oh, it's not damp, 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 damp. Get in the middle of this, too. Rolling, rolling, rolling. That doesn't look good. No, it doesn't look good. What happened? Devastation. <laughs> what have you done? What have I 
done? <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> there we go. Good thing I'm doing more of these. They're never going to catch Shrek now. <laughs> With only one wanted poster? He'll seal that and he'll just he'll just tear it down and yep. act surprised. And Donkey will say something and the movie will continue. I do also have um, some watercolors that I could apply to accentuate the Shrek. Yeah, I think this is this place is ruined. So what do you think ruined it? What should I avoid doing? Uh, I think, yeah, you should definitely make sure that your plate is wet before you roll. Okay. Because uh, once, once the ink's adhered, like, there's very little you can do once it's all munged up. Okay. I think that's probably good enough. been counting it's probably about 30 seconds okay I started your paper towel for you thank you all right dog is dunked Nope, I can't get that off with one hand. <laughs> Thanks. So you're going to start on any one? Yep. Or are you going to Although we, your we are about time for a break, Ooh. so I could probably clean my hand. And and, oh, it's so cold. <laughs> okay. And then should I wait clean. or should I just continue? Keep going. you got to clean right. yours off at least. Yeah. We'll go to commercial then? Oh, yeah. We okay. can wait till the cleaning is. Oh, you bet. Yeah, let's do that. And I'll start peeling this apart. Bye, Shrek. Bye, Shrek. This is for you. Ugh. I can touch it now with my hands. Yeah, you don't have to worry about ruining it because it's already ruined. It's already ruined. Oh, that came out way faster than I expected. <laughs> oh, God. First time oil user? Yeah. So it's going to be oh, I've uh. drank oil before. I used to drink oil all the time. <laughs> I did work tech for a bodybuilding competition once. So. And so you drank a lot of oil. <laughs> yeah. There was a lot of oil involved. It all coming off? Yeah. I think you should try just the crayon next time and not the Sharpie. Okay. Will do. to race the dog. Mm -hmm. All that hard work. Gone. If you let it sit in there too long, does it have a negative effect? Um, I don't think so. Okay. So you could literally just like put a plate in there and leave it for an hour while you make a new one and then... I, you might... It might make the texture a little weird. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the acid might just eat through the aluminum foil. Eventually, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's like that, ah. you know, dissolving long. nails in. Yeah. Right. Fair. Good point. Okay. Just I thought it might be one of those things where it's like you've used enough, you know, enough phosphorus acid. The acid has been used up in the 
um, chemical reaction that it wouldn't continue to react. But right. Yeah. Okay, back to blank slate. Ready for break? Yep. Okay, I will take you guys to commercial. Be back in a little bit. Bye. Mm -hmm. Welcome back, everybody, to Can't Draw Horses Club. Today, Angel and I, with the help of B. John Tech, are doing kitchen lithography, where we etch aluminum foil using Coke. Yep, so I am ready so, to move the inking. Yeah, uh, Angel's completely destroyed all of her work, you, yep. know, you can see from the top down. I worked for an hour, and then I erased it. Mm -hmm. It was no good. Got rid of it. Your little tab did not work. You broke it. <laughs> I just I'm it getting up. a phone call. from my dentist. <laughs> no one wants to answer that. Uh, with, with the ink. Thank you. You're welcome. So what I've done this time is I've cut the corners, most of the corners, to make little drainage holes for the, the Coke. I'm cutting corners here. from my mistakes this way. I will not spray Corey with the water. Not the microphone, at least. <laughs> I was just telling myself that because it was my first instinct when I picked it up. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. no, don't do that. Magic, the dog returns. <gasps> yeah. You have your paper? I don't. No, it does look like it's having some issues up here. You gotta I'm just going to do the first bad print. Oh, the first bad print. Okay. And then we'll see if I can get a good print after that. <laughs> I think I put too much ink on here. Yeah, I think you got a little heavy handed with the ink there. Yeah. 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 That's what the sponge is for. A sponge? Yeah. You, oh, you I ink even and then tore you this paper. Okay, this is a reject print. All right, everybody. Ready for the reject? What should I put on mine? Oh. Any suggestions? Oh yeah, that's a big blobby mess. Let's see if we can recover from that. People say bees. Yeah, bees, bees and cocaine. Bees. Live bees. Big cute bee. Donut butt. Oh. The donut butt, the smoking donut? Smoking donut. <laughs> That's deep can't draw horses club lore. No, I want some bees maybe. What do a bee look like? Bean. All right, so how do I fix this? You took away the Q-tips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean those things we don't need? Yeah, those things we don't need. Um, so this is oil. Well, well, well. <laughs> Look, I can admit when I'm wrong. Did you? No.
feel like I should take a picture of the mess I've made afterwards. <laughs> just, um, oh, the garbage. whole the whole studio. The whole, yes, garbage. the whole studio. <laughs> that mess. I can get you guys a garbage can if it'd be easier. No, that's we're good. All right. All no, right. we just use the floor. It's fine. Yep. Yeah, that's what it's for. That's what it's for. I can license a bee picture. Start with the singer. I'll sell you one. I drew a bee. I drew a bee with horse legs for this show. You drew bee horse legs? Yeah, on the emo episode. We stuck a horse head on that bee too, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we it was did. better with the bee body you think? and the horse legs than the horse head and the bee body. <laughs> one was cute and one was horrifying. <laughs> if only there was a way to, to anticipate. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get a good print out of this. Yeah, I'm, just I'm not sure bees. what exactly I've done wrong. Uh, oh. That, that that's wrong. That's bad. <laughs> Just spray it with water. That's it. Spray the dog until it behaves. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Just Just keep this going. This will fix it. <laughs> Nobody's gonna want to play on the wet spot on the table. <laughs> it's covered by plastic. It'll be fine. Mm. I think I just need to make a new thing. Oh, no. I don't know. I don't yep. know if this is going to work. You live, you learn. Yeah. I mean, if you used an alcohol wipe, would that lift up some of the... You want to try one of the wet ones? Oh, there's one that's open right there. This? Do you want to try it? I mean, you can't really you can also, you can mess it up more, can that. I? I'm going to close this. That's an excellent idea. <laughs> <laughs> No one's going to want to play on the oily spot on the table. Anyway. <laughs> Can't be worse than the Valentine's Day thing. <laughs> what happened? An incident occurred <laughs> yeah. with a glass of bubbly. Oh, was there champagne? No, it was bubbly. It was a... Um, oh, like bubbly, a brand name Bubbly of brand soda? name soda. Not... Yeah. Slang for champagne that's not, not from slang. the champagne part of Russia. No. Or not Russia. Russia? France. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know countries. <laughs> Angel, if you're a Russian spy, you have to tell us. No, I don't. It's part of being a spy. <laughs> you know too much. <laughs> <laughs> About being a spy? Yes. Okay. Kind of thinking about putting, like, Long Shrek is my lock screen. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's beautiful. Okay, I'm just going to see if I can just clean this ink off and re-ink it and see if that works. Re -ink. I knew a guy who uh, was, in, a guy. was in the um, Canadian Armed Forces Intelligence Services, and to ensure that no one would find out, he had a shirt that just had in bright yellow letters on the back, Secret Agent. Yep. <laughs> And he would pick up women in bars, telling them that's what he did for the living. His, he was a secret agent. Nobody ever questioned him about that. Yeah. Why would you question the hot secret agent? I, yes, you know. I mean, he was pretty charismatic, so yeah. Pretty people can get away with anything. Yep. That is my understanding. I have seen Mean Girls. The new one? No, the original. But I saw it recently for the first time. Really? Yeah, I'd oh. never seen it before. It was, uh, it was quite the ride. It was, it's a ride, yeah. yeah. Mean Girls the Ride. <laughs> it's just it's just <laughs> Batman the Ride, but it's been reskinned. 
Okay. It's it's pink. Pink. Okay, my bee might need a little short body. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're not. I didn't proportion this correctly. <laughs> uh, what are you looking at for reference? Because it looks like a. Oh, okay. <laughs> not like a cartoon bee, but like a, a bee. photorealistic yeah, bee. Yeah. It's a bee. The scary kind, not the cute kind. So cute though. No, these are terrifying. So I got stung by a dead bee. I can have fun. Wow, how'd you fuck up your life that bad? <laughs> Asking the important question. Hard hitting journalism. It. it was I was practicing my piano like a good little girl, and I was barefoot and there was a dead bee next to it, and when I got up I stepped on it and it stung me. That's why you don't piano barefoot. Yeah. Now I understand why, like, Americans wear their shoes in-house. Yeah. Yeah. Bees everywhere. I'm sorry to hear that. How old were you? Um, like, quite young? Like, 10. Okay, yeah. Oof. All right. Uh, I'm going to try to re-ink re this dog and see what happens. Regardless what, of what happens, just oh. print it again. Just see what happens. Oh, there is no dog to be seen <laughs> <laughs> anywhere. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. Maybe a little bit. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's get some more. You can see it a little bit. There's the nose. Yeah, it's just the... Maybe I didn't etch it long enough. I think chat had an idea that this was le that you stepping on a bee was leading up to a B flat joke. Uh, <laughs> maybe that would be good mm -hmm. next time. Turns out the B was sharp. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't very good at playing the piano. So Thank you, Peach. Probably, probably was flat and sharp. All right, final dog print, just to see what happens. Yeah, you woo. Doing it live. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, no, that's nothing. Mm. That is not, that, this is abstract art. It's, it's very meaningful. Good thing we bought paint. <laughs> I could just paint the dog on top of this. <laughs> the process is very involved <laughs> for, for making art. I didn't realize this was so delicate. All right, uh, I'm gonna clean this up. So I suppose I should try again with maybe a more simplistic design. Like a bee? Are we gonna both do bees? I mean, you can do long do... track if you. No, I will not be doing that. Some sort of terror centaur. This is Can't Draw Horses Club. Yeah, Centaurs was last week. Ah. You can't just do centaurs every week. You can't just do centaurs every week. You can't week. just do centaurs every week. It's so overdone. So last week. Uh, I'll get you garbage can. <laughs> just pile it here with the other 10 paper towels that are soaked. Yep. Thank, Thank you. Beach. Big hand in the chat for Beach. So Ch Chai is making suggestions, and I'm yep. going to ignore all of those suggestions. <laughs> you don't want Starfish Shrek with the no. mouth side? No. Wide Shrek? No. I won't be doing any Shrek anything. A hand. Do your hand. Put your hand. Just. I could do the bird hand. The bird. The turkey hand? Not. No. I'll do. I'll show you. The what? turkey. What are we in kindergarten?
satisfying. If Ben wants to know why the studio's wet and sticky later, <laughs> don't tell him. Don't tell him. <laughs> it's a mystery. It's not on camera or anything. Nope. Um, okay, so I need new foil. And I need new tape. New foil. Pass the tape, please. I think I'm almost ready to etch my B. Ooh. New foil. Right? Should I try the shiny side? Yeah! Live it up. Oh, I didn't get it wet. Remember, chat, wet your dries. What? Wet your dries. Wet your dries. Yep. And yeah. once you've wetted your dries, then you dry your wets. Then you dry your wets. I'm lost. Lost in so It's how a lot of baking works. I do a lot of baking. Yeah. yeah but then you, you mix, know. You mix your wets and your dries separately. Yeah. Right. But then you have, at some point you have to wet the dries. Right. Right. You have you have to, or else you get you get nowhere. So you wet your dries. <laughs> then I once just you call that mixing. Yeah, and then once you've wetted the dries, at some point you have to. Then you cook, and then you're drying your wets. Yeah. Oh. And if you're making pasta from scratch. Then you, you have to do that so many times. Yeah, you have to because now you have dry noodles, so now you have to wet your dries to make wet noodles, and then you have to drain them, so you have to dry your wets. And they have to put sauce on them so you're wetting your dries again. Beautiful flowers for the bee. You think the blue ink is going to do something different? Are nope. you going to make the, the bee with the red ink? I could. That seems scary, though. But it's a scary bee, so it fits. But it's so adorable. Look, it's got a little flower. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the flowers are cute next to the scary bee. It makes it even more terrifying. It's like the juxtaposition. Uh huh. Would you be scared of a bee this size, though? Well, yeah. I mean, I think I you could put dodge a harness it. on it. Like, like I could dodge it, right? Like, you could take it in for a walk. Yeah. You could catch it in a net. Animal Crossing is not real life. Says you. <laughs> now, Hello Kitty Island Adventure. That's, That's real, life. real life. That's real life. <laughs> That's real life. That's the streets. <laughs> <laughs> the hard streets of Hello Kitty. Mm-hmm. Yep. Do you know how many guitars I have to give Retsuko on a daily basis for her to be my best friend? I have to give her three every day. Three That's guitars. So I guess she is a Sanrio, isn't she? Yeah. Big challenges. I love big challenges. Me too. But man, it's it, a crocodile. It takes forever to make That's them your friends. That's the name of it? Yeah. It's one of the Sanrio characters. Okay, this time I'm just going to tilt the thing and not fully immerse. Oh, so you think the problem is too much acid? No. How, how could that be a problem? No one can ever have too much acid. No one can ever have too much acid. <laughs> Thus spake horse club. Yeah, it's on my hand. <laughs> <laughs> that was so unpassionate. Like, uh, it's on my hand. <laughs> Whatever shall I do? I have no idea. All right, now I need to. I guess I'm gonna draw a cute bee, cause. Tori only draws horrifying things. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You'll make me drop my bee. <laughs> you go cute bee. There we go. No, I was going to do the hand thing. That's right. Oh, the hand bird? The hand bird. 
Well, no, I can't. I can't I pull my you. hand on yeah, it. That's why everyone wanted you to do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> you almost tricked me. <laughs> you almost <laughs> were. <laughs> they were waiting for the moment when your hand hit the foil and you went, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Which would have been a great clip for the highlights, obviously, but. Yeah, well, no. I don't curse, so you wouldn't have got that. We could add it in post. Yeah. You, the most you would have gotten was like an oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Actually funnier, yeah. It's pretty good though. <laughs> Corey, do you think this new, uh, th this new process is probably better than For getting the whole thing soaking wet in, in Coke? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm just asking for your evaluation. We're here to find out. Yeah, I know, right? Like, <laughs> I'm not saying you're doing it wrong, because I have no, no, no idea. No, no you're, you're asking for my opinion yeah. on the process, and so far, it's less mess. Nice. You have to understand that I watched, like, 20 videos. Oh, sure. Of people trying different crap. If you, like, tied it up with, like, like fishing line and, like, and like dipped just the face of it onto just the face yeah just like, like turned, up, turned upside down and then just kind of like lowered it in flat on top of some coke it's a flat coke did come out faster than I expected. Should there be like a slogan or something on with my B? Backwards? Well, yeah, I have to write it backwards though. Will you be mine, Valentine? Oh, no. It is, uh, I mean, it was just St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Luck of the Irish. What does that mean, bees? <laughs> Kiss me, I'm a bee. <laughs> Should say. Bee's our friend. This is a really fat bee. <laughs> I mean, it's so wide. It's part of the cuteness, isn't it? Yeah. Make it look more like a baby. Mm-hmm. Chubby baby. Chubby! <laughs> Just, I should say the word chubby on it? No. <laughs> Now the chat is full of silly slogans. Uh huh. Be responsible when drinking the St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe, but it was yesterday. Yeah, something about it's honey. It's too late. It's right. too late so to inform people. For next year, yeah. How about Easter then? Uh, Easter's coming up. Yeah. Yeah. Angel didn't want to dye eggs. No. Yeah. The smell is so bad. It's like back from the dead. <laughs> to sting your I'll feet. I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back, yes. Yes. Beezus has written, has risen. Beezus? Beezus. <laughs> oh my god. We're not going to draw the bee on a cross. Okay, May's coming up. No. May the force be. <laughs> <laughs> Half bee Mother's Day. Yeah, there you go. Maybe I'll just leave it blank. <laughs> yes, queen. Oh. We can add the words on, on the prints and so they can all say different things. Just angel hates me. <laughs> <laughs> Why does everybody think that I hate them? Just no the bees. Reason. Just the bees. <laughs> the bee the, you hate the bees. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. that's fair. I'm making suggestions for the thing. <laughs> Alright, I need the roller and stuff. I don't 
know how we're going to try the red when this nope. thing is covered in we'll black. Nope. Co we'll, we'll, we'll wash it off. <laughs> then, oops. Glad to do that on break. Yep. All right. Wet. Roll, 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 roll. Wet. <laughs> Just making extra sure. Extra sure wet. this time. This time, gadget. Nothing's happening. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally blank. <laughs> oh, there we go. A little bit dropped. In definitely the right areas. You know. I don't know about your coke technique. I don't know where you're from. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that worked. No. No. Only getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to your bee, Corey? <laughs> I'm looking for it! <laughs> what happened to your dog? <laughs> I mean, this one kind of looks like a dog. No, no matter how deep I go, there's no bee here. <laughs> I will give this one up as a loss at this stage. <laughs> no, you gotta print that. Thank you. You're welcome. Maybe the bee will mysteriously appear. Better not. <laughs> <laughs> Success! <laughs> but look at how bit pretty the back is. <laughs> Putting some real care and attention to that. That's how you can tell the mark of a true artist is they care as much about the back of their canvas as the front. Yeah, I'm wondering if because when I was putting the tin foil down, I put it down on the tabletop. Oh, the paper towel is covered in coke and oil and water? That's new paper towel, but uh, the tabletop was definitely covered in coke and paper towel and oil and, and, and. I think basically everything. All mm -hmm. of the things? All of the things. Oh, that was smart. <laughs> sure, just crumple it from the inside. <laughs> We could change this into a finger painting stream. I thought you hated finger painting. Uh, who said that? You did. When did I never said I hated finger painting? Mm, okay, all right. <laughs> putting words in my mouth. What? You know, maybe it was someone else. Need more wet ones? No. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm considering the order of operations to apply tin foil, aluminum foil, to this piece of stuff uh, without getting it gross. <laughs> Thank you, Beach. I'm helping. 
You're helping. You're a helper. I feel like it's missing a few steps now, though. Play, draw, etch. All right, we're, we're, we're dunking the bee. We're dunking the bee. Bee's going in the bath. Help me. <laughs> maybe, maybe I need fresh Coke, because this one might be all used up. <laughs> Don't want used Coke. Yeah, see, we need that bubbles to show that it's doing a chemical reaction. You see all the bubbles stick to the outline of the bee, that's cool. Oh, neat. nucleation. All right, I'm gonna let it sit for a little longer this time. What are you doing now, Corey? Thinking. <laughs> Trying to divert all of my brain power to making this work this time. All my brain, the entire unit. You still need to breathe. Oh. <sighs> I'll make room for that. <clears throat> I feel like step one is wash hands. Are you sure? All right. <laughs> I'll wet my dries. Actually, I'll just go to the washroom. You leave me all alone? I'll be just here, I guess. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> it's making noises. The bubbles are popping. That's cool. Is that being picked up on the mic? Probably not. No. Like when you pour it in initially, you can hear all the fizzing, but. How long has it been? I try bumping the. No, I'm just getting room tone. Uh, it's probably been about 30 seconds, 45 seconds. Oh, there's a, time, there's a timer down there. All right. I'm going to leave it in for an entire additional minute. Okay. The sound of art. Yeah. So this is your first episode of Candle Horses Club, Beach. Yeah. How, uh, how's, it, how's it going? I am enjoying the process. <laughs> Mo mildly stressed out over the fact that not everything was perfect. Oh. Not, not, not no. you, me. My. You know what happened on the very first episode of the show? No. Right before uh, Corey went live, the entire bookshelf next to her crashed. Oh, right. I remember hearing about this. So, it can't be worse than that. It's fair, yeah. <laughs> I'm just supposed to ostensibly be a professional. Mm. But, I mean, everything looks great, and you guys are clearly having fun, and so is the crowd. So, I think... This it's all that matters. Yeah, the stream is being successful, definitely. Yeah, it doesn't matter if we successfully make art. We just have to be successfully entertaining. Yeah, it's the realization of, you get coke in your water. of the process. What? <laughs> what water? <laughs> this water. Where? It, a drip. A, you were flailing, and a drip became... That was not flailing. Now you're getting it wetter. <laughs> well, you'll see me flail. <laughs> She's going to throw her hands. <laughs> <laughs> Take that away. We should probably empty it. We can do that on break. <laughs> okay. All right, I need the vegetable oil, please. Vegetable oil. Thank you. And paper towels. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh. You're too slow. Yeah, as the Mac has it correct, no one... I think Matt Cummings made it out with his professionalism intact. Ooh. <laughs> one person. How Thanks. many different guests have you had? Different guests? Yeah. No, oh, like 15. Well, I've never been a professional, so you don't need to worry <laughs> about that. An amateur guest amateur hour over here. Yeah. I'm a professional computer programmer. I just do art for fun. 
Great sounds. Yeah? I'm glad Why we're were you those. staring at me while you were making those noises? <laughs> you know, just waiting. Waiting for me to acknowledge your yeah. weird noises? Thank you. <laughs> Corey, you were making weird noises. Thank you. Okay. I'm going back to shiny side down on mine. Did you try a shiny side up? Nope. I tried a get your tinfoil all gunked up. <laughs> <laughs> and try to draw a B. an elbow grease into this. I think you've got enough oil. <laughs> I think she is going to throw hands eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to make it to the second break is what you're saying. It's going to have to cut to that um, technical difficulty screen that they do for uh, gra gardening with Greg. We still don't have that like built into. We've. I think I've asked uh, Paul if we could get it one time. Oh yeah. Yeah, just to have it like available. If people want to cut the technical difficulties for some reason, but. Yeah. yeah. I think it's because we need like a good piece of art to represent how absolutely ridiculous things have gotten. Would you kindly pass the tape, please? What are we, in Bioshock? I didn't think you'd pick up on that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I have a statue of a Big Daddy in my living room. <laughs> All right. Well. I think, I think you have the same one on the shelf somewhere. It's the, the one that came with, like, the deluxe edition. Chat, don't forget to quote that. Yeah. Definitely don't capitalize any of those words. I'm gonna be watching this and looking at it. Thank all you. My I think it's a proper noun. You have to capitalize oh, it. Oh, really? That's too bad. Statue of Big Daddy in my living room, yeah? Yeah. Just a big statue. <laughs> it's not. It's, the statue it's isn't big. that big. It's the name of the creature. <laughs> but you know, because you just referenced the game. <laughs> Yeah, it's just all the coke I've been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Yeah, good. That was a statue of a big dad, not just a yeah, big no, daddy. Yeah, you can't misquote me. <laughs> yeah, that's never happened before <laughs> at Loading Ready Run. Oh my god. Wait, which one of these was I drinking? Oh, that one. Okay, good. I told you that you were going to get confused. No, because it's over here. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right, what step are you on? Draw. Okay. Backwards. I'm on the inking step. May I have the ink? Beginning the ink transfer process. <laughs> Ooh, it's on my fingies. Slide a piece of paper underneath it. It might make it easier. You know, he's right. <laughs> what did he say? We should put a piece of paper underneath it so that we can just move the piece of paper. My bee! <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe we're not putting enough water on. That's why I tried to make mine extra wet. Okay, well, maybe that's not it then. <laughs> hey, that's working. 
sort of. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just throwing elbows around. Oh, child, I'm about to get violent. <laughs> that Coke bottle's really oily. Put it in the fridge like that and see if anyone drinks it. Me. <laughs> hey, Beach. Yes. Uh, you know how the recycling works. Do they take. <laughs> <laughs> Do they Lily take bottles? lubed <laughs> plastic? I, <laughs> I know, I know if the paper's filthy. Right. In filth and with our mung and ichor. <laughs> Technically, I think. This probably not a problem, but I mean, just wipe it off with a paper towel, maybe. Okay. I hope. <sighs> okay. Like some of it worked, but this is not a B. It tried. <laughs> it tried to be a bee. <laughs> tried to be. Half a There's bee. the stinger. What are all these other spots showing up for, though? Mm, flavor? Flavor spots. Like I can see where it's supposed to be and the ink is just not B. sticking to it. That was not meant to be a pun, and B. you know it. All right, well, we're gonna print this and we're gonna call it art. What's the name of the bee? <laughs> <laughs> Art the half bee. He had an accident. <laughs> <laughs> this thing that I forgot the name of. Baron. And the Baron. Gotta get your prayer and your Baron. I get them confused. Yeah. Don't know why. Is it just spelled Baron with one R? Yep. Yeah. It's an E. Baron. Ah. Hey! hey. Yay! <laughs> it's a bee that's been smashed. <laughs> a bee been smashed. <laughs> do you want to try cleaning it and doing another print? Do you think, or do you think it's a loss? Uh, um, I don't want to clean it. Maybe I'll put more ink on it and see what happens. <laughs> well, we're going to wet it first. Yeah. Right? <laughs> that's, that's the thing that we keep forgetting. Maybe I should try drawing the logo. The Can't Draw Horses Club logo? Yeah. That's a horse that you can't draw? Yep. Yeah. Very good. And then I have to do it backwards. And you have to do it backwards. And all the words, too? And all the words, too. Okay. How long is the stream? Three hours. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you got time. We have a whole other hour, Beach. Yeah, you got lots of time. <laughs> lots of time. And then I'll do it in red. Ooh, yeah. We need to do a red one. Yeah. What would be the most upsetting if we printed it in red? The word green. <laughs> well. There's not going to be enough room for the word green if you made There's your G that big. There's going to be <laughs> enough room for everything. Okay, so we at least got two mostly identical drawings. Oh, nice. 
they're not good drawings, but they are identical. <laughs> Proving the, the plate is working. Yeah. yeah. It's printmaking as it goes. I just, I don't know what was different about the spots that worked and the ones that didn't. Did I maybe push harder with the crayon on those spots? I guess I should try the Sharpie. Yeah, do you want a red Sharpie? Sure. What am I gonna draw in red Sharpie? Blue. <laughs> so we're going to print both green and blue in red. Yeah. Okay. That's the plan for after the break. Look forward to that. All right. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Can't draw horses club. <sighs> There's a burp coming, and I don't want to do the thing. Do you want to mute, mute you? What's Please. the thing? You are muted. Okay. <laughs> We're good. That was great, because it was only barely audible on the other microphone. On my microphone? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. But only very, very faintly, so perfect. It's only, only like a ghost of the real yeah. thing. Yeah. Angel right. and I are doing kitchen lithography. Mm -hmm. We're moving over to red ink. I did what I could to clean the brayer and the glass plate we're using for I ink. I think this is my most successful one. This is your submission for the, the Cantor Horses Club uh, Hall of Fame? The art gallery, yeah. yeah. Do you have a fridge you can put art on? We have a fridge. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds good. All right. Yeah. Sold. <laughs> All right, I'm going back to the the uh, matte side. I didn't want it. So now we are making upsetting words in the wrong color. Yep. I'm trying to think if I want to like decorate my level letters or what. Maybe I make the lines thicker. You want to use the flowers you just got on that? Spoilers, I just picked up some flowers from outside. Ooh. And I was going to just ink them and apply them directly to paper. But that can go on long shrek or something. Uh -huh. They don't go they don't necessarily go on the, the foil. Maybe I can make these letters three dimensions. How are you doing that? Magic of perspective. See previous episode of Can't Draw Horses Club on perspective. Oh no. Did I miss did I miss the shout out? You did. I, oh. You missed it. I missed it. That wasn't even one of my episodes. One of the fundamentals of art and I missed it. I think we have one more fundamentals of art episode to go. No, we did shapes. We did shapes. I think we did. We did color. Color. Color value, shape, line, composition. Texture. Maybe composition. I'm sure Chat will tell us. I'm sure Chat's been paying attention. <laughs> They're going through the YouTubes right now, I'm sure. Looking yep, at the old. Yep, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure, it's in the, the Cantra Horses Club wiki. <laughs> There's a playlist on YouTube. Like this, is, this is not working at all. I'm destroying this tape. <laughs> I'm trying to get it off there with one hand. You have scissors. The scissors need even more hands. Do they? They're designed to work one-handed. I think. <laughs> I mean, unless you need some like leverage. But I need to hold the tape. Ah. Mm. That's why God gave you a mouth.
to operate the scissors. <laughs> He's not wrong. Is that going to be a beach quote taken out of context? They don't quote me anymore. Oh, no. No, they've given up. Just you just say too many weird things. Yeah, me and you Ian. Can't keep up. Yeah. Yeah, they definitely stopped quoting both you and Ian for sure. Definitely. <laughs> okay, this is the last plate of the day for me. It's fine. I I know that my uh, my salary is not tied to how many quotes I end up with in the quote database. Not yours? Really? Yeah, mine, mm. mine is not, so. Do you yeah, get bonuses or anything? I only get paid if I get quoted. <laughs> what about misquoted? <laughs> like, time and a half, maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, all right, I'm supposed to write the word blue? If you like. Backwards. Yep. Okay. Make sure you leave enough room. Well, blue is a shorter word than green, so it should be fine. My hand is very shaky. I need to rest my elbow. I'm going to be laughing about that for a while. <laughs> Not your shaky hand. That's that. We didn't try ballpoint pen. We didn't. Are you gonna do that? If I can find one. It's not dead. Oh yeah, these are some wobbly lines. <laughs> Ooh, it works. Should I make it like stinky? Stink lines? <laughs> Why is the green stinky? Maybe it has holes in it, like cheese. <laughs> well, chat? I'm waiting. <laughs> and we got uh, some ellipses from Boopity. I'm thinking that's yeah, an affirmative. That's, that's, mm -hmm. They're voting. Mm. Oh. Oh, there's a poll in chat. There's some now. sort of democracy taking place. Make that green smell. Yes. Should I give it a nose? Shrek ears. Why is it always Shrek with you? <laughs> it's, uh, it's part of the zeitgeist. It's, it's just very recognizable. On the N or on the G? Oh, not on both sides? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's fine. On, on one side of the word, one on the other. Sure, yeah. Or maybe I should just draw a little long Shrek in here. <laughs> or Kermit? So yeah. Maybe I give it Kermit eyes. Give it a Kermit. Give it Kermit eyes. I like that. Let me just find a picture of Kermit. <clears throat> no. No? Does he have like, um, he has like uh, goat pupils, right? Yeah. Yeah. Got like a mouth. What does a U look like? Backwards, the key. It's kind of wrinkly. He's got the things, eyeballs. E's are really messing me up. E. Looks like that. So. Let's Kermit the Frog here. You start by drawing a C backwards. <laughs> Does that make it easier? Do you want to use mine <laughs> as reference? No, hold on. Uh, is there an E on here somewhere? There we go. There's an E there. So I just do the opposite of that. Ah. Okay, Kermit with Shrek ears. Yeah, all right. 
There we go. Great. It's like a little alien. Time for the etching. OC. <laughs> OC, don't steal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got drainage holes. Green's going in the tub. Shremit. Oh, Shermie. You still love me, Shermie? Let me do it for you. <laughs> then I need like a Shrek piggy. Try not to splash too much. Are you telling me what I have to put on the blue one now? No, no, no. <laughs> just, just vibing. Besides Gonzo's blue. Right? And he already has weird enough weirdness going on. I feel like if I try to draw Gonzo, it would look really obscene. Nice. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Just Gonzo with a huge hog? Like what? Like. Just the nose, you know? Oh! Gonzo with a huge nose. So something obscene about his nose? Mm. Well, you know what they say. Mm. <laughs> Man with a nose like that loves chickens. Loves chickens. <laughs> coverage. Coverage. Yes. Yes, good. Maybe a little more splashy splash. My cleanup. Yeah, all right. It also kind of looks like the word clean. It does. Yeah. Ready for the Coke. Do you think I could just use what's in here? Mm. Do you think I have to you think more? you can just rock it over the surface? Maybe. Do you think it'll react? Yeah, I don't know how it, if it like uses up the acid when you do it. I mean, it has to it has to react uh, yeah. in order for it to do something. Let's so new Coke in here. Yeah. New Coke. I guess if you're using like just straight phosphoric acid, then you would know how much is actually in there that, I guess you wouldn't really because it would just turn into, a, it would still, a large percentage of it would still just end up being liquid. Yeah, when you're using, when you're using straight acid, you, there, you mix other stuff in with it. Yeah. Um, rosin, I think. 
or gum arabic gum arabic yep Just this word blue written in red is upsetting me. Mm -hmm. Well, imagine it when it's done. I know. When it's all smeary. <laughs> <laughs> Thick ink. Vegetable oil doesn't get off the marker, but does it matter? I don't know. I mean, uh, when Corey did the long Shrek, it still managed to capture yep. a huge amount of the yeah. detail. I did. Okay. I just realized, Beige, if you flip the camera, the words will look correct. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shall I spend some time trying to figure out how no, to do that? No, probably not. <laughs> right click, you could transform on the camera. No. And you horizontal flip. Or vertical flip. I mean, mine's backwards and upside down, so. <laughs> Yeah, and, and then we'll both look like we're right-handed. Yep. Oh. I don't think I quite nailed it. Ooh. Um, doesn't look any different. I mean, I did click vertical flip. I think you need horizontal flip? I don't know. What is going on with that tub of ink? I think it is had there, like, a piece of plastic in it? A lid oh, yeah. thing. I'm just going to contain that. <laughs> gone forever whatever that was about <laughs> so here i think you need to thin that with the mineral spirits oh we didn't wipe off the knife so it'll be a little dark red i don't actually know how to thin the paint with the mineral spirits uh take a scoop of the ink and put it on the glass. Did I bring the mineral spirits back? Did you leave them in the kitchen? I left them in the kitchen. I'll go get them. They're by the sink. It's the ones covered in ink. They're by the sink, covered in ink. <laughs> Can you pass me the vegetable oil? We'll see. Thank you. Don't drop it. It's very slippy. <sighs> and I'm going to remember to close it this time. Oh, Ooh. why is the lid loose? That could have been very bad. Because I, I unscrewed the whole lid to get... And you didn't re-screw it? I didn't, not completely. Right. Did you find it? Yep. It means I covered in ink. <laughs> <laughs> so it's in my hands. Beach, you're Thank gonna you. get messy. Mm -hmm. Want a wet one? Oh, that looks strange. Now. Oh, sure. Just trying to address this puddle of oil before it spreads. <laughs> I was like, before what, Corey? <laughs> okay, so glob of paint on thing. All right, I'm back. Yep. Glob it. Glob. Okay, now take the mineral spirits and put a couple drops on the blob. Safety. Yes, anti-children. I'm children. Ah. That's too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Do you have those Q-tips? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah Cory used the Q-tips. See, see what those are gonna do for you. Well, they soaked up <laughs> about as much as you imagine. 
exactly as much as I imagined they yeah. would do. Yeah. Um, so the idea is that you put a couple drops of mineral spirits in there and then use the knife to mix it up. Yes. Okay. But knife. I don't know what's going to happen now. Knife, 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 knife. I think you're just going to end up with a liquidy mess. Good. <laughs> Stay. Stay with me, paint. <laughs> well, I'll try this. Okay. <laughs> we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. left. Thank you. Soup. Roll one, roll one, roll one, roll one. I have to use that plate after you. <laughs> we can flip it over. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think that'll work? It's, I mean, we're here to make a mess, so. We're doing it. All right. Get my paper. Can you tear off a sheet for me, please? I can. Thank you. You're welcome. I haven't really been paying attention to which side of the paper I'm using. I mean, which side? One side is more textured than the other side. Well, there's our problem. Ah. <laughs> I don't think that's the problem. Let me see. Let me check. Definitely, it's the last step of the process. Looks like this one I used the textured side. And this one I used the smooth side. Which one is better? I'm going to say it's a wash. <laughs> I'm just waiting my turn for the ink. Look right. It's getting close though. Kirby's a little damp. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that the ballpoint pen works. Well. Cleaning. Just starting over? Cleaning. Cleaning as I go. It's so slippy. <laughs> I guess I can get my paint set up while you're doing that. While I'm waiting my turn. So I think I'm going to paint the B a little bit, get some yellow and some orange. Is it working? Yes. 
I mean, there's red being left behind. It's just the prayer isn't just not rolling. I think we gunked it up too much. No, I think this the is it too slippy. Too slippy. <laughs> to myself. Mm -hmm. You know, people are watching. You can talk to them. Hi, people. How's it going? Don't answer that question. <laughs> oh, yeah. We used up some of the tarp budget for this. Uh-oh. <laughs> well. They weren't supposed to know that. <sighs> they get very touchy about the tarp budget. Do you want this? Yeah. I mean, no, but yes. <laughs> okay, you could you could add just more straight uh, paint. Like more ink to it, maybe. Yeah, more ink to it. Straight paint. Oh, it smells. Those are some fumes. Oh. I can't actually tell if it's too thick or too thin. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Feels very viscous, actually. And the it's yeah. all textured, right? Isn't it supposed to be flat? I think it's thick, flat? right? Do I put more mineral spirits in it? Do it. <laughs> all right. Because otherwise, you'll get this <laughs> gleam. One of them's an Among Us. <laughs> you want to show the wide? I can't do this while yeah, I'm sure. laughing. <laughs> yeah. How cool is it, chat? <laughs> Stop <Yeah>. screaming. <laughs> Found a new manga I like. Is this a joke? It's not Glean, no. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is Long Trek, you're right. <laughs> Coming soon, Loading Ready Runs new zine. Long Trek. I think that you'd probably get sued for that. For making a zine? No for one's using ever Shrek. That looks better. Oh yeah, those inked up really well. Now the part of the U is kind of missing. You can add it in post. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, I just messed it up. I shouldn't have done that last roll. Now I'm making it even worse. Clean. Sponge. <laughs> Apply sponge. Apply the sponge. Okay. Water. Ink. Soup. Perfect. Do you want a Q-tip? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I did the same thing. <laughs> why, why is this E such a problem? Explain yourself. There, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay. Yep. Top. Great. Put it down. Good. You got it. <laughs> All right, give me that. Oh, this I mean, thing in the middle. Just this thing up here. Okay. Thank you. Bloody plate. 
Just like I wanted, yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, can I have the Baron? Are you making a second printing of the green? Yeah. All right. Reveal. Not bad. Hey. It says blue. It says, it says blue. blue. Mostly. I think it shows up better on the overhead. So yeah, we'll leave it on the overhead. Yeah. Yeah. That looks great. It's an accurate. Uh, a depiction of what came off the plate. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should have started simple like this. <laughs> Crop. I don't do anything halfway, Corey. You know that. <laughs> you start with like a, a yin yang symbol, and then you like do the Chicago Bulls logo. Right. Yeah. That's what we did when we did silk screening in uh, in uh, grade eight when they were teaching that industrial arts. It was like, what do you want to do for your logo? And it's like, all the guys were like, Chicago Bulls logo. I was like, okay. okay. Well, good thing we had everybody last year do the same thing, so we already have a screen made. Why the Chicago Bulls? Were you in Chicago? No, just Jordan was like oh. so good and they were winning uh, things and you're like, I have to get on some sort of bandwagon, so. You had to get on a bandwagon? Everybody has to be on a bandwagon. Look at all this coke that was underneath. It was making it stick to the table. Yeah. It's just part of the process. Just stick it to the table. <laughs> oh, it's so wet. I feel like I'm bailing with a bucket. There's not, no way that I'm gonna be not wet. <laughs> no matter how many paper towels I use. Yeah, I, I feel like at the end of the thing, you get everything off the table that doesn't go in the garbage, and then you just lift the tarp up and gently set it in the garbage. Yeah, yeah. that was the plan. That's awesome. Yeah, but there's water under the tarp. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a... <clears throat> Table's covered in polyethylene, so uh, probably paper, it should please. probably um, last through that. Thank you. Sorry, polyurethane. Urethane. May I have the ink? Yeah, I'm thinking of my father, <laughs> the thing. You might want to fix th th that. <laughs> Is there any fixing this? I don't think so. Too much fun. Not allowed. Whoop. I got it all over my hands. Yep. No. <laughs> it's a good thing we got mineral spirits and not turpentine. Maybe. Imagine what we'd be like with those fumes. <laughs> like a grape leaf or a banana leaf. Oh. It's Japanese. It's made from, yeah, it's made from Japan, so something native to Japan. I did hey. buy that brayer because it looks like the one that um, Dave Bull uses. Green. Do we need to 
tape the paper to the to the table. Spray yeah. some water on the table. That'll hold it. <laughs> I think we've done that already. <laughs> Let's just put a little bit more of this in here. Oh, featherweight. Hello. Fellow Candra Horses Club alumni. Is this the messiest episode of Candra Horses Club yet? Did you ever do gingerbread houses? No. Then this is probably it. Depends on what you mean by messy. It depends on your attitude on fire. I haven't used fire that I know of. They won't let me do it at the office. Add it to the list. Fire? Mm-hmm. Oh, we have a spreadsheet. Oh, I have a spreadsheet. Corey doesn't have a spreadsheet. Yeah. Several people have spreadsheets. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to do a second print. It looks great. I think that's just the red from the Sharpie, though. I don't know if there's any ink actually sticking. Well, maybe. No, it looks thick. <laughs> Does it look thick, Corey? Yeah. It's like road paint. <laughs> oh, making it worse. I think it runs out of water. I think that's what happens. If I just do this. Respray that. And then we ink it. Maybe that will work. Oh, I just smudged on it. Oops. It's part of the charm. <laughs> you get my fingerprint with the paper. Uh, oh yeah, I look like, like I've committed a crime. Art crime? <laughs> Can you pass me the ink? Probably not. <laughs> you can keep that. All right. No, that didn't really work the second mm. time. Very, very faint. Okay. I'm going to paint this B. Because I'm pretty sure that will work. If that doesn't work, then this day is so cursed. Except this plate is stuck to the table. I can't, I can't lift it up. There it goes. Uh. I just put it in the soup. <laughs> you can live there. No, we don't have that much time left. Nope. Ain't fast. Oh, you're doing your flowers? Yeah. How's it working? Okay. First time using the paint water cup that says paint water do not drink. 
Maybe I labeled that for you. You like a flower? I do want a flower. What's beeping? That's my phone. Guess I could mute it. <laughs> I muted my phone before the stream. But you're an amateur. <laughs> right, and you're the professional. I definitely didn't lose track of time because I was having too much fun. There you go. Now it looks more like a bee. Very nice. These are the paints that I used for my Desert Buzz craft last year. For the uh, Phyrexians, was it? Yeah, the Wall Scrolls. A neat trick I learned was when you're doing silk painting, you can put the black on the front and the color on the back. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. So your black won't fade at all because the color's on top of it because the color is behind it. All right, now I'm going to do something more upsetting. <laughs> we only have 10 minutes. That's okay. I don't need that much time to upset people. I'm just going to paint this blue that's been printed in red orange. Corey, that doesn't look like flowers. That looks like blood splatters. <laughs> <laughs> Green has been murdered. <laughs> Stop trying to cheat off me. <laughs> oh, do I need to get out the red? If you want to see more terrible blood splatters, you could watch the Halloween episode of Can't Draw Horses Club. <laughs> Available on YouTube now. <laughs> of course, of course, I do know what a murder scene looks like. All right. It's back when she was working this, uh, the tech on this bodybuilding thing. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tournament? Competition? I don't know what... Um, yeah, it's a competition. I will never, ever be able to listen to the song Bittersweet Sympathy again. No! Never. Just neon green song. Is this all I can think about? <laughs> huh? A lot of people have mixed feelings about that song, but not because of a neon green song. Because it's a neon green symphony. That song. <laughs> do, 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 do. No! Leave <laughs> <laughs> to the money, then your song. You have to stop, we'll get demonetized. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. true. Dry mm -hmm. faster. <laughs> what are you drying? Drying. Yeah. With the green. Oh. Yeah, but that's an oil-based ink. That's not going to be dry for like 24 hours. But my, my process. 
How am I going to continue? Uh, what, are you, what else are you going to do I to it other than murder it? I guess I could put more ink on it. <laughs> I was going to clarify some of the lettering with Sharpie, which I think mm. I can do. It's a great idea. Oh, your idea is a great idea. Thank you. It's good to see your hand is just as wobbly as mine. Yep. <sighs> Bitecaster uh, say, bite says, wait, we could have just written the word green on a piece of paper with Sharpie? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was thinking that earlier. <laughs> <laughs> with my red Sharpie that I have? Yes. Yeah. And? We probably wouldn't have gotten uh, here with it. It's not about the end result. It's the journey. This is going on the fridge. Whose fridge? The fridge here. I mean, it's going to have to go somewhere to dry first, though, right? The fridge. Oh, God. <laughs> Someone's going to walk into that <laughs> and be very upset. <laughs> Isn't that the point? <laughs> Ari is supposed to make you feel something. Yes! <gasps> <laughs> Slightly damp and sticky. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. How do you like mine? Yep. <laughs> I mean, it's good. Is it good? It's good. It's I don't great. believe you. It's so good. I like it. <laughs> what about mine? It's fine. Hear that, chat? It's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Never have I been so glad to have a non-magnetic fridge. <laughs> <laughs> I think your doorway's magnetic there, isn't it? <laughs> I think the doors might be. Hmm. All right. I, li I think this is my best work for today. This bee. The bee? That bee's pretty good. Do you want flowers? I don't want those flowers. <laughs> They're covered in red ink. Oh, I guess we'll have to end it there then. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us today on Can't Draw Horses Club. Angel, if people wanted to find you. Oh, yeah, they can do that. I am on um, Twitter and Twitch as AVJ Amethyst. I paint portraits of pets every Thursday at 7.30 Pacific. They look much better than these things. Uh, I promise. She promises. It's an <laughs> angel guarantee. <laughs> Uh, you can also find me sometimes on Tappy Toe Claws on Wednesday evenings, playing some Commander, and here sometimes whenever Corey tolerates me. And thank you to Bijan Tech. Reminder mm. that we're supported by you through uh, patreon.com slash learningreadyrun, store.learningreadyrun.com, and Twitch and YouTube. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>